Hey, how you doing? Uh, my name is Z. Uh, I own the rescue, Z's Rescue and Relocation. Um, the one thing I wanted to start this channel uh, so I can do a little information about uh, animals here at my rescue and and hopefully uh, in the future I'll be going out in, in nature with you guys and showing you some stuff in the wild. Uh, but for these first couple videos I'm going to show you some of the animals that we have here and tell you a little bit about them. I think I'm going to start with the tame ones and then go a little bit more towards my venomous or my little more dangerous ones that I have here. Uh, so today we're going to start with my favorite, well one of my favorites is the ball python. Uh, a lot of people ask me if, if they want to get into snakes, what should they start with? And uh, my suggestion is start with a ball python. These guys are very gentle and uh, they're very beautiful to look at. They don't get very big. As you can see here, uh, he is full grown. And uh, I'll let you see him here. So you'll see his eyes are blue. He's getting ready to shed. He's actually got a coating over his eyes. What that does is when they're getting ready to shed, uh, let me see if he'll let you show his eyes. His eyes will cloud over, just like you see there. And what that does is when his skin comes off from rubbing, it will protect his eyes as the skin comes off. So let me tell you a little bit about these guys. So there are 26 different species of python. Uh, they can be found in the wild in West and Central Africa. So pythons are constrictors, which means they will wrap their bodies around their prey and squeeze them until they suffocate. And then after that, they will swallow them whole most snakes they eat about once a week. They need a body to digest the food. Uh, ball pythons are the smallest of the pythons, and they only grow they only grow to about three to four feet long. So, in captivity, pythons can grow up to fifty years, or they can live up to fifty years. But the average lifespan uh, in captivity is about 30 years. Uh, in the wild, due to predators. So in captivity, they're going to live longer. But in the wild, only about 30 years because they could be eaten uh, by predators. So I'm going to keep him moving around here so you can, so you can see him. Uh, so in Europe, the ball python is referred to as the royal python the royal python the, the name of the royal python is actually believed to be from the fact that uh, many of the African rulers were known to have war live pythons as jewelry I personally don't know if I would just walk around with them as my jewelry but I I definitely they they are very uh, tame I would say and you can just wrap them around there and they will just hang around your neck or your arm or whatever you want to do I don't think I would consider this jewelry but they still are pretty cool um, so in the United States these guys were given the name ball python uh, because they curl themselves into a ball with their head in the center uh, to protect themselves. So if something's coming at themselves, they'll bring their head into the center of the ball and uh, give themselves a little bit more protection, uh, hence their name. So uh, they do like to curl up a lot. So these guys eat live mice or live rats once a week. Um, like I said before, they are constrictors. So you put it in there, they'll wrap it up until they stop feeling the, the mouse move. They will release and then they will eat, eat it whole. Um, ball pythons, they have heat sensing pits in their face, on their nose, 
it's between their nose and their mouth and they have uh, and those are heat sensing pits I don't know if you can see it there so these guys have about 100 teeth that are curved inward so once they bite their prey they can't escape so imagine if the tooth is going this way and it grabs onto you the more they struggle just the deeper it goes you like looking at yourself so snakes are cold-blooded that means that their body temperature is the same as the air in its environment. They like to bask in the sun, which means they like to lay out in the sun. And that can regulate their temperature. If they're getting too cold, they can get in the sun and warm up. Uh, but if they get too hot or too cold, they can die. So that is one way they regulate is They'll go in the shade if they need to cool down, or if they need to heat up, they'll go in the sun. But they are cold-blooded. A lot of people think they are slimy. They're not. They're actually very smooth. Not slimy at all. And as you can see, he's very calm, very gentle. So, this is the ball python. This is going to be my first video that I start uploading. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Make sure you like my channel. I will be uploading more more videos every day or every week and I have a lot of animals here at the rescue. So until then, we'll see you next time.